Hello and welcome back to the airport. In our last episode, we took a look and we really massively expanded this runway. If you remember, when we first started out, it ended right here, all the way down to the bottom. Now we basically doubled the size of it. I'm not sure if that allows us to get any bigger planes or anything, but we definitely have increased the size of it. We also went through and really expanded largely our gate area. So now we have gates here and here, uh, and we're going to be adding on some support for stuff over here very shortly. Uh, we do need to see what's going on and why they choose to line up in just certain gates instead of, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but we also left off where we needed to add on some contracts for our small planes. Uh, so let's go take a look and see what we have. Uh, we can go through here, and I have to be careful now because I have to make sure it says small. Some of the contracts I've noticed say small and medium. Um, I just want small, so I just need to make sure I have those in there, and we should be all good to go with those. So let's go into our flight planner. I'm going to pause it very quickly here, and we're going to, well, we don't need that one, but we are going to need this one here and see if we can add it in there. When can we add this flight? So as soon as we can add that is 8 o'clock. We'll do that, and we'll separate those by... A nice hour there so to make sure that we can get all of those flights in nice and easy and make sure there's no problems with what we want to do uh, so we'll have those in there and we'll have them take up multiple stands as well so we can do an 8 15 to 11 15 uh, 12 15 6 15 and we'll save that other flight for tomorrow because we still have a couple whoa we still have a couple other airlines we need to add things onto, so that's going to be a 30. This will be a 30. Nope, a 30. And then this maple will also be a 30. And we'll do the same thing down here. This is now going to be out at a 9 o'clock. Another one there, and we'll have the maple one satisfied. We'll go back and take a look at Stripe Air and get their stuff going here. So it'll be a 9.15. And we are just loading up the schedule. Take a look at the schedule. I mean, there are a lot of planes, a lot of things happening all on Wednesday here. Thursday, not looking nearly <laughs> as busy, but that's okay. We should be able to uh, get everything taken care of here without much of an issue. Uh, so let's get the rest of our flights assigned here. And we're good to go with those, and we have one more set with the CLMs. And they'll just go in right there. Now let's go back and see if there's any other contracts that we can sign that maybe we missed or didn't have the opportunity to do before. Uh, so we have another Skylink one. This says that we need to have six flights small. I don't think Skylink is a flight or an airline that we've had before, so we'll sign that one. And let's take a look at some of these two uh, ones. These are eight-day contracts, which I like. This is three requiring small and six mediums. Okay, we can do that with Skylink. And before we start booking a ton of flights, let's go through and make sure that we have all of these taken care of. So Skylink, you had these small flights here. So we'll get those in there for you. really just going in and making sure that we're not stacking too many flights on top of each other all at the same time. I want to really make sure that we have everything set up properly there and then this one you're still on the small guys. Skylake you're gonna fill up, oh that's a big plane okay so that one, so that come in at 510 and then your small plane. Actually, no, you can come at six. There we go. You're a big plane. You're another big plane. Small plane. I wish they put them in order. That would make things a lot easier, wouldn't it? Like they just popped in there in order so they could see exactly where they're supposed to be. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So 
So we have our stuff pretty well booked here. We still could fit some small flights in. And a lot of these also give us a lot of time to do it. So this one expires in eight days. Uh, and some of these other big ones, like this guy is another eight day from Maple. Uh, maybe we're going to take a look at some flights that we haven't had before. I don't know if that matters, but it seems like a good idea to me. That's 13. Wow, that's a lot. I'm going to hold off on that one. This one is 16. Whew. This one is 14. Wow. Swiftly. How about this one? We can do 9 medium. Maybe. This one is 6 small and 5 medium. Yeah, we can do that CLM. We like you guys. And we're going to go through and knock out the next CLM one. Which hopefully is just going to be small planes for a little bit here. That's a big plane. You're a big plane. You're a small plane. Small plane. Get pretty lucky with some small planes here that we can really fit them into the schedule. And now we have all of Wednesday filled. We have all of Thursday. Now we can move on to Friday and start booking that one up. So we can really pretty easily get a lot of flights in here and accommodate a lot of stuff, especially since a lot of these uh, things allow us to go through and have eight days to get, to get everything in there. Um, it gives us a lot of time to get those flights in because theoretically I only need to take like the ones with 16, I only need to take two a day and I'm good and that can stretch over the course of a week. Um, Air Strada. What are you? 10 medium flights. But you don't pay enough. That's the problem. Is uh, some of these other ones, like this pays for 16 flights, pays 74. But the contract needs to be complete within three days. I don't think I can do that. Uh, so we'll take a little bit of a pause here. This one needs to be complete with two of them. Nope. So we're going to take a little pause there. We'll speed the game back up and hope that uh, everybody gets in where they're supposed to go. And hopefully they start spreading out on the security lines here. I thought I'd change that over to just employees at some point, but maybe not. Is that one? No. And these ones don't really have enough people at them, so I need to hire some additional security guards here. And those guys should be coming in, hopefully getting right to work, uh, where we have them there, and everybody can go and do their thing. Uh, but you notice when they're getting off the planes, they're flying out of there, going to their buses. Uh, things are looking good there. We have a whole bunch of planes on the ground. These happen to be the CJR 700s, and uh, they're looking nice. So we have uh, bigger planes on the ground, which is nice. We have uh, everything that we need, and all of our fuel trucks for the jets are sitting there, which I also really, really like. So we have those, everything looks good. I'm pretty excited about where the airport's at right now. Um, it's looking like we, we've done what we've wanted to do. And it is winter time because you can see the snow and also this little snow flake up there. Um, we can also get a little bit more weather information if we add on a weather center. So let's do that. Uh, where's a good place for that? Let's put it outside of an area where we're not really using it, which can be right there. And that will give us a, a better information about what exactly is going on there and how it's flowing. But we have uh, our small planes coming in. We're still open to general aviation, even though it's only five planes. We're still open to that, which is fine. Um, I don't think they're causing too many problems for us. And if they start causing problems, we will shut that down. But for right now, the uh, airport is functioning very nicely. We have... Wow. Look at that. Uh... They are working through that. We still have two days to do it, and we might reach the uh, goal of that one. This one, not so much. Uh, but the other one, we definitely might reach that. Uh, we still need to add on some areas here, uh, especially some bathrooms and all of those type of things. But I'm pretty happy. Uh, the airport is coming along. We're, we're adding money every day, and we, we do need to add a lot more. Ooh, we got a 737, it looks like, that this landed. What version? 600? 
Yeah, we got another one coming in, and another one coming in. Man, we just have planes flying through here, getting things done, ready to go. Um, it is a weight class of medium. I, again, I don't think that there's a high weight class on here at all yet. So that's something we need to keep an eye out on. But man, oh man, this stuff is really functioning. We have all of the trucks, all of the cars, everything is flowing very nicely. Uh, people are leaving and hopefully they're getting fuel as necessary. So that plane doesn't look like it needs it. That one doesn't really need it. That one probably needs it, but it hasn't requested that service yet. Uh, but we're loading up everybody and getting on there. This one, boarding has closed and you should be taxing, which means he's pushing away from the gate. His little light starts blinking and he's going out. And look, we have multiple flights with uh, staying off of this main strip here. This main strip is really for the jets. Everything else should stay off of that. They should use the other taxiways, which looks like it's happening. So I feel good. I feel pretty happy about this. Uh, we're already up plus uh, $100,000 since I started talking there. And that's awesome. We should have a plane coming in. Look at look at our snow-covered tree on the runway right there. That's all fun. And our runway is looking pretty beat up. Uh, we might need to repair that for $6,000. Which is ridiculous. But we're going through. We have those set up. And our next group of flights should be coming in relatively soon. Those little check marks mean they've all left on time and properly. Uh, and got it what they needed. Uh, so hopefully we can do what we need to do there. Our small flights are all full and our big ones we should have our next big flight coming in at, uh, let's see, what time is that coming in at? At 3 o'clock. So in 15 minutes that plane should be coming in and there it is. And we're ready to go there. So we're, uh, we're moving along. We have everything functioning the way it should function and uh, we're looking good. Here comes another one. Those are some ugly planes, by the way. These things, they're ugly. I don't like how they look. Um, they are BAE 146s. I, I'm not sure what that is actually in an airplane sense, uh, but it's an ugly plane, I'll tell you that. And they're going through. Uh, so we're getting, everything's moving along nicely. It's a, it's a good day here at Washington International Airport. Uh, we're, we're slowly gonna start adding on a few more plane stalls and getting that set up and ready to go. And yeah, I mean, it's just, everything's moving along beautifully. Very, very happy with the progress the airport has made so far. I think our next step is going to be adding on an additional runway out here. Uh, once we do that, we'll kind of see how much space we have for this other terminal idea that I had where it goes up and then there's another like leg of it here. Uh, because if there's not enough room for it to go up, we might have to come out and then build some stuff in the middle. I'm not sure how that's gonna work yet. Uh, but we need to figure out exactly what's going on there. Uh, so instead of paying our loan back, which would be the smart thing to do, because you should always pay your debts as quickly as possible, um, we're going to go in and add on a runway. So that will be our second runway once that gets opened up. We're going to have to do some major expansion to it to get it ready to go, but I think that's going to be a major benefit to us as well, that we'll be able to service all of the parts of that properly, and uh, really optimize the flow of all the planes through our airport. Uh, at least that's my hope. Uh, so I don't, do we have construction guys? I don't even know if we have construction guys here that are doing what they need to do. And that's an operations under construction. We'll deploy everybody because nobody was deployed. Or I guess they all were deployed already. Maybe, I don't know. All I know is I have a ton of workers here. Are you guys going to do your jobs or just no? You're not going to do it? Oh, it's done. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, so we're going to upgrade that. We're going to upgrade to asphalt. And we're going to definitely start expanding that runway up a good bit. So let's zoom out a bit here and upgrade that airport or that runway to the north five I think we can do it one more so now that runway is all the way out which looks great I'm happy we have to get some taxiways ready to go 
and our asphalt taxiways are ready to go here. Bring across five. Spend a buttload of money getting that in there. But that's okay. We need to do the same thing down here. And we're going to spend a ton of money doing this. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I figured. So how much money do we need for that? So basically it adds on about $30,000, 20-something thousand dollars every time. So we need another good bit of money. We'll wait anyway because our guys need to get to work building all of that. So we don't have to rush on that end of things. But we have a second runway now. Uh, it is not open. Uh at all uh, because taxi wise they're not going to be able to taxi to it uh, but the idea here is that once this one opens uh, we'll use this one for arrivals and then this one for departures or vice versa it's not really that important uh, but we want to make sure that we have everything operating the way it's supposed to operate and have them kind of ready to go there um, so it's the middle of the night there's not much happening at the airport uh, once we roll over to the next day we can start talking about filling our next area here. I'm not sure why those aren't filled in. They were. At least I thought they were. Maybe not. But now we have a whole lot of those there. So Thursday is full and Friday is the next time where we're looking at stuff. But I mean look at this. We have nine big flights and one, two, three, four, five, and twenty of those. So we're really rocking through this thing and they should be motoring along here pretty nicely. There is a button to... Where's that? If I go into overview, I can fast forward to the next day. Oh, there's aircraft in motion, so it doesn't let you fast forward. Um, that plane landed really late. Wow. Usually the little... Oh, it's taking off. Okay. Usually the little planes don't leave at that. Cannot advance time. There are aircraft in motion. Where? Where are there aircraft in motion? I don't see them. Do you see aircraft in motion? I don't see aircraft in motion. Um, I see airplanes paying me, but I don't see aircraft in motion. Let's try it again. Go back to the overview, fast forward. Still saying there's aircraft in motion. I don't believe you. Don't believe you one bit. And it looks like my construction workers are doing something, maybe. They're somewhere. They're out there somewhere. I have all of them deployed. If I go there. I have a lot of emails too. And I thought I had researched the uh set up where we got rid of all of the spam email. Maybe that's just old and I haven't cleared out my virtual inbox in a few days. Oh, there they are. There's my workers doing their thing. Getting this uh, taxiway ready to go so that we can open up a brand new half of the airport. I mean, we're going to theoretically be able to double the amount of planes in and out of here. Now, they'll be on the ground for a long time and that's not going to be a possibility, but we'll be able to double the amount of stuff that we're able to do as far as getting them kind of in and out quickly. So we have to build more stuff for them to be on the ground. Uh, but as far as being able to get them up and flying, we're going to be able to go really quickly with them. Uh, so we just need to get that built. And uh, we should be in much better shape here. Uh, especially because once this one's open, there's not a, a big need for like this kind of area like I have now. One purely for departures and one for landings. Um, I really only need the one side, which should open up a lot of land. Because uh, previously, like this area here and this area here is all wasted, uh, in theory, compared to the other one. Uh, so, it's going to be a little bit of time before that happens. Can I fast forward a day yet? I know there's no air flare after in motion, so let's see. Why can't I advance? There's passengers in the terminal. Where? This one guy? See the passenger? Oh, that's a janitor. 
Those are my gain agents. I don't see any of them. But what I do see is that we're slowly adding this on. So that total revenue, we've made $111,000. This one we've made $92,000 just in having those there, which is fantastic. Those things have finally dropped down to being $13 a day instead of the uh, larger amount. So maybe, just maybe, I can fast forward. Nope, still passengers around. This is the only annoying part of this game is uh, there's nothing happening at night. Now, some airports will have activity going on at night. I mean, it's not common, but some of them will. But really, there's not a lot happening at this airport other than my... Uh, Worker bees kind of going and doing their stuff. Uh, so, maybe we'll add some light poles. We'll just, I don't know if this actually does anything. Or if it'll make this area at least a little bit more hospitable. place that one I can't really delete it because it deletes the bus parking so we're just gonna have to live with that add on some lights let's get them outside the doors as well Let's do it for these doors here. Oh, and probably the crosswalks because you gotta be able to see people if they're crossing the streets here. It's gonna be a nice lit area. Everything should be nice and easy for the people coming to the airport. I don't know if that matters. Ooh, and we have flights finally arriving. Uh, so it's a CJR 700. That's an ugly plane, but look, it's a different airline. Come here. What are you? So you're a Skylink, and then we have another Skylink plane coming in. Uh, so again, our flight planner today is full. We have all three of our big planes there, uh, our Air Strata and two Air Links. Or Skylink, excuse me. Uh, and then we have... So at this point, we should have all of our gates filled. All the planes should be on the ground or are getting on the ground. There they are. You notice the gameplay is getting a little jumpy as more stuff is happening. Um, that's okay. It's, it's an alpha thing. Uh, as we saw with Sim uh, Airport, uh, as more stuff happens, game gets a lot more jumpy. Uh, I'm just going to slow down the speed a little bit just to try to smooth it out a bit. And yeah. Just need to get enough money to be able to go through and really dump that uh, last piece in there. But the uh, flights are popping in there and everything is looking good. I'm happy. And you can see that people are just buzzing. They, they love this place. They are buying stuff left and right. We are only a quarter of the way there with a lot of time <laughs> to go. Or just about a one day and 24 hours. Also known in the real world as 24 or two days, but whatever, we'll do that. Our bathroom's popping. Look at this bathroom. Oh my, you guys really had to go, didn't you? Did I, can you do anything as far as, so let's call this one the female bathroom. And let's call this one, do I have the option to click on this? This one is going to be the male bathroom because it has urinals. And females don't have any reason for urinals. It's kind of a fun little thing there. So, we have that. Let's see. Can we finally afford our major piece of tarmac uh, or our taxiway foundation? So, we're going to go asphalt. It's going to go all the way up here. One, two, three, four, five. We can afford it, so we will build it. And then, very soon, we'll be able to put on all of the fun parts here. We have our taxiway. We'll add on another taxiway. Yeah, it's a long runway. And then we'll get this one right in there. The only other parts we really need to check 
are right here. So I have the runway ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Game's really starting to bog down a bit right now, that's okay. But it's making my construction life a little bit more difficult. Uh, so we're gonna go in here. Runways ahead. This one is has to be open to both of the flights as far as passenger or commercial and general aviation because if they're not then my general ones can't leave. Uh, but this is going to be purely a departure. Alright, and we'll just wait for the rest of that to finish up and then we'll go forward with that. And we have three different types of bigger airplanes on the ground, which is cool. Uh, we have the CJR-17, the BAE, and the 737-600. Um, yeah, so I'm okay with this long strip here because if this is going to be purely for departures and this will be purely for uh, arrivals, uh, the departures need to have space to get in and out, whereas this one doesn't. They just need to be able to kind of go to it. Uh, so that's my thinking on that. So we should be okay as far as that goes. Um, but you can see that there's a big line of planes waiting to take off at this point, and it's just not going to work out for them very well. So I, I want to make sure that we alleviate that. I want to make sure the planes get off the ground on time when they're supposed to. And that's interesting that you went down and up instead of just going straight up. Uh, but we should have planes starting to take off here uh, as soon as other planes clear the runway. Um, this is why I don't like the general aviation planes, because of this. They cause massive delays <laughs> at times, and it's just causing us problems. Uh, so hopefully we can get all of our planes out of here on time, and uh, that all of our airlines stay happy with us. Although, I don't know if that really matters in this game, if they stay happy or not. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. So we have all of that. Uh, our next step really is to make sure that we get that runway opened once all of the other pieces are built. And uh, we're going through here. But for day 11, year one, I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made. It's a nice looking airport. Uh, there's not much left as far as the, the this runway getting ready to open up. Uh, and we can put on some massive expansions here once we pay back our loan, because we still have a million and a half dollars we owe out to the banks. Uh, which we're going to have to take care of. But for right now, we're going to go through, go to construction, and we're going to get rid of all of our workers because I don't think there's any work that needs to be done. And then we should be able to open up this runway. So this runway is now open for departures, and hopefully it does its thing. Can we put on any upgrades? So we can put on some landing lights. Let's do that. Why not? Put some on at both ends of the runway. And we'll do the same thing over here. We need to repair this beast. And you are now just going to be for arrivals. So hopefully I don't mess anybody up, but it looks like planes are taxiing, doing their thing. The ones that were already definitely going to take off there are doing that, but everybody else is making their little line down, and they're being able to take off. And hopefully all these remaining flights make the left and head out towards the other thing, and everybody lands. So hopefully we don't have any more pileups, and we have everything being nice, good, and easy for our flights uh, so that they're able to do their thing. Um, I did want to upgrade this runway to add on the lights. Okay, I don't know if that does anything in this version of the game yet, but we could do it anyway. Because they're only $500. And yeah, we're looking good. Let's see, our big plane is going to taxi out of there. going through and he should be able to take off without a problem there we go so uh, the airport has gone through here we're heading into another night our runway lights uh, should have kicked on already looks like they're getting there and yeah the airport looks wonderful 
I'm very happy with where we're at right now, and uh, all of the work that our airport has done looks like it's going to pay off for us. Uh, so we have planes coming in, everything looks nice there, and yeah, we're going to be adding on some big expansions here. All of our big planes, I believe, are gone for the day. Yep, and then Friday we have some openings, so let's go in, add some contracts, and get some more big planes and small planes in there, because we definitely need both. Uh, so swiftly, what are you, or let's look at the big, big ones first here. Uh, so, you. You need 14 planes. I think we should be able to accommodate that within two days. Ooh, didn't read that part. Uh-oh. We might be in some trouble here. Um, hopefully two days is 24 hours. That's going to be my guess. Be my prior. Let's see if I put that at the very end. Just see if I can squeeze an extra flight in there. Can I? If I really just like pump these together. I get another flight there. No. Awesome. But I'm going to sandwich these real close together because if I want to make sure this contract works and if it doesn't, I'm going to be in trouble. So move in here and we're just going to make sure that all of these planes really can plop in here quickly. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. I'll be able to do this no problem. But it did, we did almost cut it, I mean, it's still not guaranteed because if a plane's late, we're in trouble. Um, I guess that's just the risk we're going to have to take here. Uh, again, I really don't like this aspect of the game as far as how they do this. I'd much rather that I could just auto-schedule or have recurring flights instead of signing brand new contracts every day. I'd rather much longer contracts. Where is that plane coming from? Coming from somewhere in the middle of the ocean in Portugal. Okay. Whatever. Uh, let's see if we have any small plane contracts as well make sure that we're using those. So Maple, you are asking for light ones. We'll sign that. And CLM, you're asking for small ones. We can sign that. Any other small ones only? You want medium? Nope. You want small and medium, but I can't fit the mediums in. I'm sorry. So, we'll just have to wait till another day, or till when we get a whole lot more gates. Although, once we get a whole lot more gates, I'm very worried that we're not going to be able to maintain what we need to as far as the game goes, uh, stability-wise. Uh, we'll see what happens with that, but I have some doubts about how good we're going to do with that. So, our maple planes are coming in. I'm not really trying hard to schedule these right now because they don't really matter. Uh, we have the planes we need to. So I'm just kind of plopping these in here, kind of willy-nilly. I also wish I could just like assign certain gates or certain stands to be just for a certain airline, kind of like they have a hub there or something. Uh, I think that would be kind of a cool feature uh, if we could do that. Uh, but we have the planes on the ground, we have the buses working, we have lighting outside of there now. Uh, we really do need to add on some more of this stuff because it makes us a lot of money. I mean, if you take a look here, the space that we have here, it's, it's, we're not, we have not completed the contract at all, but money-wise, it's making us a good deal of money. and. Is this one? Oh, that one's totally done. Alright, so we need to sign a contract there. Uh, we should be able to do a two-star one. And we'll sign that contract. So now we have that. And we're going to build some restrooms in here. And hopefully sign some more food contracts. So let's go through first off and 
build a couple of restrooms. Uh, so, structures and walls. I think I did the math there, right? So one, two, three, there's a wall. One, two, three, and a wall. Cool, I did my math right. And then the area right below that, if we put it down the, roughly the middle. That can be a store area and that can be a store area. So let's go into areas. And we're going to make that a bathroom area. And this also will be a bathroom area. And our item, or sorry, our structures, because doors are structures. One, two, three, four. And then we need to go to items. And we'll add on toilets, sinks, urinals, whatever we need. So, this was not the best planned. It should have been. bunch of sinks there for the guys and rotate around for some urinals nothing like opening the door and right away seeing a urinal isn't that that's a special feeling right there uh, we are going to have to hire some contractors uh, in our operations area we'll deploy all of them and go through and do that and then this area here well the only question I have is I don't know where, like if these are going to line up exactly with the other ones, um, because see how they're kind of offset. So when I put in, I still can't figure out where these are at for each one. I'm really bad at it. Uh, but when I decide, no, when I decide that I want one of these and I want it to be basically lined up with this one. So it's going to be there, and if I find another one, another one's be there. So it's only going to be on this one, and then we'll probably put a fuel depot or something like that in there. Um, so our bathrooms are built. Let's go through. We'll slow the game down a bit, and let's design a shop area. Part of the shop. Oh my gosh. Right, so now I can put my shop back in, hopefully. Let's go out there. 12 by 24, that sounds big enough, I think. We'll put a wall in here, and then the items we need for a shop, let's see. So, even all of the four-star ones, we have it being big enough, and they pay a lot of money per square area. The only things we really need to do is make sure for the four-star ones, like, look at that, $4,600, so 17 shop shelves. I think we have enough space to do that, so... We're going to go ahead and add those on there, wherever they're at, shop shelves. So we'll do large shelves. We need 17 of them. One, two, three. And then we'll probably go medium or... Four, five, six, seven. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wow, those filled up a lot more space than I thought they would. And then the shop cashier be right down there because it only asks for the one. So we'll sign a contract with the one that's going to pay us the most, which happens to be as to go. We'll sign that, and if we get 4,800 sales, we get an extra 28 grand. That makes no sense. The sales are just a dollar a piece. If I bought all of that, I would make a lot of money. And we'll speed the game back up so we can get that in there. And then in this area, I think I'm going to put a big food court. Because why not? So we'll go in, start with the walls again. Big enough for those? Yes, we did. All right, so we just need seven fridges and some counters, which we can pretty easily do. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sure why I need so much space for those guys. sure that we are going to meet this contract fully and completely. Then we need to have a cafe counter. have those taken care of we're going to sign a contract here and it looks like we only we don't have any four stars the beans offering twenty seven hundred dollars an hour you're offering 26 so 27 17 27 82 the bean you win we will sign that contract sign it Not letting me sign it with the bean, even though I have all of this stuff met. There we go. And we should be good with that. Now, I'm going to go in and change the floor color, and then I think I'm going to call it a day, because this has been a long process to get to this point. And I think we're in good shape with everything. Uh, what color did we use for the shops before? Oh, we used a, a brown color that we think we're using up here now. Uh, so I don't want that. Um, sure, we're going to go with this. Look classy. We want a classy looking shop there. Oh, look at that. That is class all over. Uh, and then we'll finally finish this off by putting that in there. We're trying to put that in there. So the bathrooms are going. They're getting their nice new floor treatments. And there we go. This airport is rocking and rolling. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning, but we have flights in and out of here. Our general aviation is full. Uh, not anymore, I guess. Uh, but flights are cycling. Everything is going nicely. I'm very happy. And our runways are in decent condition. How about our jetways? All of these are in decent shape. These guys down here are in decent shape. How about the big guys? They need to be repaired for $20,000? Are you kidding me? So, just spent 60 grand fixing those stupid things, but hopefully we'll be able to be rewarded later on with some additional work here. 
and uh, everything there. Wow, look at these floors. What's the matter, folks? Need some chairs in there. Um, so we're not definitely not going to make that. But let's go in and add some seating for them. Uh, you guys can have some sofas. They're about to get on a plane for a nice long time. Everybody needs a sofa right before they get on a plane. So we'll add in some nice sofas here for them. Nice little seating lounge. We'll even add in some plants for you guys. Look at this. Don't say I don't care about you, because I do. I care about you and all of the money that you're going to bring to my airport. Uh, so we'll do that. I believe our contract here is almost done. I'm not sure why that room got so dark so quick. And I need to add on the last little bit here. I need... Oh, they're all deployed. So as soon as... Those things are in there. I'm going to dismiss all of them. And I'm only going to call back like 10 contractors. So all my contractors leave. We have people being able to grab seats and enjoy themselves before they take off and I might add a little seating area in here. I'm not sure why all of these aren't being staffed. Uh, it's probably because... I'm gonna pause this game real fast and just see what's going on with my employees and their shifts. Uh, especially airport staff jobs, operate information. So you need to do that for six hours. Operate security for six hours. Security rounds. Every hour they're going to go through. And maybe that will work better? I don't know. Let's see, because it feels like we don't have... It feels like we could have a lot more people working here than what are currently working here. People are hanging out. They're not making a lot of uh, purchases anymore, but maybe that's just because we don't have a lot of people leaving from down here, and hopefully they're making a lot of purchases up in this area, which we are definitely getting purchases. Um, that's already made us $60,000. We do need to. This airport is filthy. I mean, look at all this dirt. Dirty people in my airport. Uh, so we're going to need to hire a bunch of people to make sure that that doesn't continue to happen. I would eventually like to separate these a little bit um, because this area is a mess. Uh, it's very crowded. You see how far separated the security area is from the other one? Uh, there needs to be some work done for that. Uh, maybe moving the security area out here and then having them go through. I don't know. I don't know what the choice is, but I would like to do something else with that eventually. Uh, but for right now, that's, that's not going to happen. Uh, that's just not where we're at. So we have uh, everything set up pretty nicely here. I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, if there's any questions you have for me or there's stuff that I really am just missing out on or I need to do, uh, please let me know. Uh, what is that plane doing? Okay. I didn't, I didn't think we had planes like that that went to the medium jetways. Uh, I, I really wish I want to get big planes, but I don't think they're an option right now. Uh, so yeah we have that and i could add on more uh small planes if i want it but i think i've kind of maxed them out for right now our day is full and we're ready to go uh, so that's all i have for today guys i'll see you in our next episode where hopefully we can start talking about baggage carts i will see you then